Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Writing Secrets. So what we want to do is talk about uh, developing a healthy attitude towards your losses. Now, losses are a major part of becoming a successful trader, being able to have that good attitude and knowing that the losses are just a part of trading. You need to uh, control those losses because sometimes there are traders that they'll suffer a major loss right in the beginning of their trading career and they'll either spend the rest of the time trying to avoid other major losses and never really go after the big profits or they may just get out of trading altogether. And we're going to go through some ideas as to how you can keep the losses in perspective and you don't get discouraged and uh, hamper your trading career. So the first of all, there's no perfect trading system. The main thing is there are no perfect traders. We're a human. We do make mistakes. We may read the indicators wrong, even though the indicators are telling us one thing, we read it a different way. And so then we lose. And that is not the system's fault, but there really is no perfect system. There's always some little flaw or some uh, discrepancy or something that would cause you to maybe take a small loss. So accept that. The next thing I want to share with you is that you don't need to equate your losses with being a failure as a trader. Losing is part of, of trading. Learn to manage your losses and accept a few losses uh, along with uh, your winning trades. You accept your winning trades and think that's great, but you know that the system's not perfect, so and you're not perfect, so you need to uh, adjust and allow for a few losses. I've drawn several little black lines. You can see two or two small ones and one large one the, on, the, on the chart. Possibly these two small lines, you can see you may have entered a trade here on a sell and got out here. That was a small loss. Entered a trade here on a sell and got it here as a loss. Yes, it did, they did both go in your favor, but uh, you didn't manage them right and you took a loss. Or you weren't there, uh, your take profits and your stop losses were set out further, so it never triggered either one of them. And you came back and saw it and, and got out. That's just part of trading. But to experience a, a loss like this, that is just letting it run expecting and hoping it's going to turn when the market says that it's uh, going to keep on going for a while. And that's the difference between accepting a few small losses versus accepting those big losses. Now, right here, the market was going sideways, so it was pretty choppy and this would have been a hard, little more difficult to trade. Right here, uh, you got in on a sell. Uh, it went down to, uh, in a pretty decent amount, but you it didn't hit your take profit and your stop loss was way out or you didn't even have one and you suffered a great big drawdown. That's where you can lose your emotional uh, strength, lose your trading account and do a few of those and uh, maybe you'll get out of trading altogether. So you ne need to learn to recognize a, a loss that was really a big mistake and those that are not mistakes are just part of, of trading. So we need to accept the fact that small losses are as much a part of trading uh, as having a profit. Traders need to restrict their losses, keep them small, and then they need to uh, be aware that there's going to be substantial gains on their successful trades if they manage them properly. For example, you had a couple of small losses here. That's part of trading. Uh, you saw this was going other, the uh, direction uh, going up, so this could have been a winning trade. And you uh, entered a trade here. It went against you a little bit, but you managed it properly and you had a, a big successful uh, gain right here. So a couple of big successful gains, uh, they more than make up for these small losses. So you need to put that into your overall perspective. So in, in your trading account, uh, you need to focus on the overall gains in your account. If the bottom line is going up, then don't get so concerned about these small losses. Keep this perspective of how your account's growing rather than the impact of a single individual transaction that was a loss. Yes, you may have made a mistake, just accept it and go on. Now, practice some sound money management. And part of good money management is keeping your losses small. You don't need to suffer large losses. What if you had five small losses of five pips each? That's 25 pips you lost in one large trade of 50 pips. Well, you made in one trade more than you lost on five trades, but you practiced good money management and you kept the size and the, the, your losses small. Generally, you won't have five losses in, in a row unless you're doing something totally wrong and then you need to adjust and look at your trading system. And I'm sure that the trading system is not giving you that information. It's not telling you to do that. You're doing it because you're perceiving something that's not there. So 
step back and learn what the uh, trading system is, is talking about. The main thing is you need to always trade with a stop loss. And we would suggest also a trade with a uh, take profit. You may close the trade before it reaches your take profit and, and have a smaller profit. Or you may close the uh, trade at a smaller loss rather than letting it hit your stop loss. But you're managing it and you're keeping uh, things in control. So make sure you let your, your profits run when you see a, a good trend going. Let it run, but don't get uh, married to it. When the market tells you that it's time to get out, then get out and just follow your trading rules. If you have your take profits out twice as far as you have your stop loss, that's okay as well. But don't have your stop loss out twice as far as you have your take profit. So if your profit targets and your stop losses are, are about the same and you have the equal number of winning trades and losing trades, you're going to be breaking even. You uh, won't make money, but you won't lose money. And then you can actually uh, win less than 50% of the time, but if you're winning trades are running and your losing trades are cut short, you can still have a gain in your trading account. So in summary, we want to say you have to get over the fear of losing. You're going to have some losses as part of trading. As soon as you can get over that, then you have a chance to start really uh, progressing in your trading career. As many times the fear of losing is greater than the reward of having a successful trade. Hopefully this little recording was of help to you, and we'll talk to you another time.